Hello and welcome back, fellow Vuperians. There's a massive update to Universe Sandbox. Well, maybe not massive, but it's exciting. Star Fusion into Brown Dwarfs. They've improved the transition from Gas Giants into Brown Dwarfs. This is insane. This is one of my greatest complaints about the game. They've answered my prayers. I'm very glad. Thank you, Universe Sandbox 2 team. Now we get to make Jupiter into a star and see if anything changes, because it's supposed to be updated now and better and stuff. Alright, Jupiter is looking pretty chad right now. So, how's it going, Jupiter? Let's let's ask Jupiter how he's doing. Let's see if Jupiter gives us a little bit of a response. Oh, Aw, oh, thank you, Jupiter. Jupiter is so happy right now, and let's see if he can reach the stardom he's always been hoping for. I'm kind of curious how this works. Does it look awesome? Does it just, like, merge into a star? We're gonna make it do nuclear fusion, so... Jupiter, I hope you're ready to become a fusion reactor. Um, it's going to be great. Wait! Oh, I... Okay, is it just me, or was that transition not very... Okay, um... What did they actually change about the transition? I thought I would, like, have some sort of animation or, like, be a little bit smoother. <laughs> One moment. Uh, let's pull Steam up so that I can actually... Star Fusion and Brown Dwarves. We've made significant improvements to the simulated transitions of gas giants into Brown Dwarves and stars driven by a newly simulated fusion power energy property. Aha, uh -huh. more color customization and laser improvements. Okay, uh, let's check the uh, simulations that are available to us. Where's the fusion property? That's a better question. Okay, one one moment. There's this... I've got to be missing something. Okay. Where's Fusion Boy? Is this not the update? No, it had the thing in the beginning, so it definitely was the update. Title heating. All of this fun stuff. Composition. Why do I have all of these things still? So, did it not actually become, like, a star star yet? No, because I have star- wait, I can just change the color of the star- <gasps> Whoa! Okay, that's good. We can change the color of stars now. That is kind of awesome. Alright. I'm a fan of that. Cool. But at the same time, I'm- no offense, but I don't think that transition was much smoother. Uh, so I'm gonna try to figure out how it's better, and I'm gonna try to find that fusion rate or whatever it was talking about. Um, I was really excited. All right, let's turn this up further. If I turn it up, does it? No, it just gets. It does the star thing that we expect it to. Um, I guess the light and stuff seems to make a bit more sense. It doesn't seem to be absolutely broken like before, if I remember properly. Those things were kind of challenging to get to function properly. But, uh, I'll be honest, it's hard to really tell what changed. It's in... Okay, so the composition is still there, which... That's kind of odd. Um, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, let's see if I can find the thing it wanted us to do to see the difference. Um, guides science are gas giants failed stars. All right. Uh, guides science are gas giants Failed stars. Let's see what we've got here. Alright, select Jupiter. Open its properties. Select surface. Ah, is that the tab I should have hit? Energy absorption. Alright. Great. Ah. Oh! 
Shoot, there it is, fusion power. All right, so it looks like we did find it. So most of the energy is coming from the sun, and it doesn't have enough mass to do fusion, so it doesn't get any power from that. Okay, cool. So yeah, if we turn up the mass, so it looks like this is mostly a simulation improvement, not a visual improvement, uh, which is fine. Um, I, I don't have an issue with that. Honestly, it, it making sense at least is a good thing. All right, so fusion power goes to, ah, 80 zeta watts. Wow, <laughs> more than a thousand times the external power it receives from the sun. Huh, so this is considered to be a brown dwarf then. All right. So it's not quite a star, but it is performing fusion. And we can see that by looking at this. Although the power is going down over time. Is that because the composition is changing over time? No, it doesn't appear so. Odd. Let's just increase the mass a little bit more. Oh. See, that was still weird. That, that was still pretty weird, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, brown dwarfs have a mass between 13 and 80 Jupiter masses. Mmm. This creates internal f temperature sign up for deuterium fusion. Hey, powder toy people, you like this? <laughs> a chemical process that releases energy by combining deuterium with protons to form he helium-3. Ah, uh, yes, I already did this. Okay, okay, so we know how to look at it now. Fantastic, thank you. I will close the guide now. Okay, let's make Earth into a star. <laughs> Earth, how's it going? There's only like, how many people? Seven billion? It's okay. Slight losses for science. Let's increase your mass a bit. Mm. It's like when you start eating tacos, they're really yummy, <laughs> and you keep eating tacos. And those are also pretty yummy, so you just continue to consume the tacos. And then, before you know it, you're, you're, you're a gas giant. But then you just keep eating the tacos, because at that point it's already embarrassing, and it's kind of like, it can't get much worse. What have I done? Now it's just a very sad star. Alright, uh, let's turn that mass down to go back. Go back! Oh, uh, here we go. Earth, looking good. Looking pretty hot. <laughs> And by hot, I mean 2,000 degrees Celsius hot. Uh, let's see, the energy rate. Mm, yes. Yes, fusion power is at a tenth of a yada watt. Very nice, very nice. It is shrinking as well, which kind of... Oh, the density is increasing as it slowly collapses on itself. Very nice. I'm glad to see that this is being simulated. Sometimes you know in your life you feel like everything is collapsing, and uh, that's because you're a star. So you should just be happy because in reality you are important, and you brighten someone's day. Wow, that was really poetic. I'm very proud. <laughs> okay, let's speed up time and see if this, uh, how far this, wow, it's really getting dense there. Alright. Temperature should be rising a bit too, but it doesn't seem like it. Um, Alright, so it did the whole density thing. Let's uh, give it a little bit more mass. Oh! Feisty! Alright, now Earth is a proper star. Look at it go. Those are some big, big arms. You got it. Oh, alright. You've calmed it. Nope, you're angry again. Alright. You. Oh, you're chill. No, no, you're not chill. Hmm, if we make it like... I really like being able to color the stars. I don't know when... <gasps> what? The solar flares are still the same color? <laughs> oh my god. Ah, it's beautiful. Oh my god. Earth is not a happy star, I won't lie. Earth is a kind of violent star. Let's put Earth around Earth star for the dramatic effect. You know, like the, stop hitting yourself. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at how healthy and green the earth is. 
look at all those plants. It's totally not just the light from the Earth death. Um, oh, oh no, Earth Star is ripping Earth apart. Who could have expected this to happen? Nobody, nobody would have expected this to happen. It's too horrifying. See if we throw Jupiter into the... Oh, wow, Jupiter is actually quite big compared to Earth Star. Um, but he's kind of getting wrecked. I'm not going to lie. Jupiter's not standing up very well. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earth's going to win this one. For once, Earth gets to win against Jupiter. It's not like it cheated and became a star or anything. Um, it totally deserved this win, and it worked so hard for it. Look at those impacts! They're so wacky. <laughs> no, I, I don't really have much more of a word for it. You know what? I'm very proud of Earth. Finally managed to rise up and uh, tell tell Jupiter that it wasn't happy with Jupiter being so large and a bully. All right, let's expand Earth a bit and see what happens. Very nice. I mean, no green stars aren't at Wait, did Jupiter just... What? Okay, Jupiter just stole mass from Earth, became a star, and then supernova All within like 30 seconds. So that makes complete sense. And now the Earth is at 20,000 degrees and is being evaporated into nothing. Oh, no! Earth, Earth is a star again. Everything's okay, guys. Earth survived the supernova. This all makes perfect sense, and I'm thankful that we have such a... I don't even know what to say at this point. That, that was interesting. Well, it's true. Stars have been updated. Fusion power. Coloring stars. I'm sure we can do exciting things in the future with this. Um... But for now, <sighs> sorry for yawning, it's light. <laughs> but for now, I'm just going to say thank you all for watching. There's an update. You should try it out if you have the game. And if you don't have the game, you should probably get it because it's a fun game. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.